Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you all are doing well. Today we're doing a back focused workout. So as you can see, I do have a little bit of equipment here with me today. Um, if you have a chair or a table at home, that will work just fine in place of a bench. You don't necessarily need a bench. And then I do have an array of dumbbells here. So for myself today, I'm using one 25 pound dumbbell, so a heavier dumbbell, a set of 10 pound dumbbells, so not something that's too heavy or too light, um, and then one five pound dumbbell, so one lighter dumbbell. So you can use whatever you have access to at home, and again, whatever suits your strength levels. So the way that this workout is structured, it is not a timed workout. We are gonna be doing everything in sets and reps. You're gonna follow along with me. I'm gonna explain as we go along, um, and I think that's pretty much it. Make sure you have a little bit of space around you. Make sure you've got your weights ready to go. And without further ado, let's get to it. All right, guys, so we're going to start off nice and simple. We're just going to do some one arm rows. So you're going to need your bench, and I'm using my heavier dumbbell, so my 25 pound dumbbell. We're going to do two sets of 10 on either arm. We're going to go right away from one arm to the next, and then we'll take a few seconds rest before we head into our second set. So, one arm is on the bench, one arm is holding the dumbbell. Your back is nice and flat, and as you bring this dumbbell back, I want you to focus on bringing that elbow to your side. Rather than pulling with your arm, focus on bringing that elbow back. That's gonna force you to use your lat. And also think of your hand as a hook, rather than you using your forearm and your bicep to pull the dumbbell up. That way you're gonna use your back. So one hand on the bench, here we go. We're gonna go for 10 on our right arm. Let's go. Really squeeze and hold at the top. Four. Good. All right, 
put that dumbbell aside. We're gonna use our light dumbbells. I'm using my five pound dumbbell next. We're gonna take a little bit of a break here before we go into our next. This is gonna be a superset. So we are supersetting two different exercises. We're gonna do some supermans. So we're gonna come on our bellies. This will be our first exercise. You're gonna hold your dumbbell in both of your hands. If holding a dumbbell is too much for you, you can do this without a dumbbell. We're gonna do 10 supermans. Dumbbells out in front of you, raising up and down. We're gonna do 10 and then on our last one, we're gonna hold for 10 seconds. And then right away, we're gonna come up here into a tabletop position. Dumbbell is in one arm. And you're gonna kick it back for a straight back lateral raise. You're really squeezing that lat. And then we're gonna do 10 of these on either arm. So that's our next superset. And then we're gonna do two whole sets of that. So let's get in position for our supermans. Dumbbell up in front of you. We're gonna go up for 10 in three, two, one. Let's go, raise it up and down. Two more, nine, and we're gonna hold. Hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Carefully lower down, come right into that tabletop position, dumbbell in the one arm, we're gonna kick back, squeeze that latch for 10 on either arm, let's go. Slow and control. Keep that core nice and tight as well. I try to see where my luck goes. I just don't know how it slips out. There must be some kind of plan. Every person could be you though. A pretty guy with a halo. This is eight. But who am I kidding? Nine and ten. Switch arms. Here we go for ten. Let's go. Ready to 
go into our Supermans again. We're doing 10 on the 10th one. We're going to hold for 10. Here we go, dumbbell out in front of you. In three, two, one, for 10, let's go.
seven. Send that booty back, keep a nice flat back. Neck in line, everything a nice straight line. Here we go, for 10. Five, extend all the way down. Full range of motion. Sit into those heels. Two more, nine. Ten. Good, drop that weight. Grab your set. Going right into those W raises. Here we go for ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Good. Taking a little bit of a rest. To place less strain on your lower back, especially during our uh, close grip bent over, our first exercise here. If you have a wall close by, you can kind of rest your bum against the wall and that will also help you to isolate more of your upper back as well. Just really make sure you're sitting back into those heels. A few more seconds here, we're gonna get ready to go into our second set. Super quick, fast, a 
real nice burnout. So getting ready, grab one of your dumbbells. Body's in a nice straight line, row up, and we're gonna hold for 10. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, drop it. We're just gonna hold here, wait for a few seconds, and then we're gonna do the same arm again. Getting ready, coming back up to your plank. Row it up, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good, drop that. Switch to your other arm. Getting ready to row up and hold for 10. Here we go. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, squeeze, four, three, two, one, drop, two seconds rest, coming up, Step it up, get ready, and we're going to do the same arm again, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop that dumbbell. And that is it, guys. Great job. That was a quick little back dumbbell only circuit that you can do at the gym or at home. Feel free to add on a few more sets if you felt like that wasn't enough for you. But this is some of my, these are some of my favorite back exercises to include on a back focus day. I hope you guys enjoyed this workout. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up for me. Leave me your feedback down below. And if you're new here, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video from me. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.